Barcelona just had one of the best games I've seen from them in years. That was insane. They Not only did they blow up and score seven goals against Real Valladolid, but they also played really good football. They were really good. I, I, I'm, I'm excited to get into this rating. This is the best feeling I've had after a game since probably the first leg of the PSG UCL draw. We know how that ended up, but that, this was awesome. The entire team, I think, played fantastically. It They clicked well. They came together in a way. Real Madrid can't right now. And that was just really, really good football. And uh, I, I don't have a lot of bad things to say. And I'm not going to. I know I was a little negative in the last match. I think I, I want to, like, hold back all my enthusiasm. Because with this side, well, we know I can get let down a lot. But that was awesome. Uh, okay, let's just, let's just get into the player ratings. Because... I think that's... I need some structure right now. I'm about to lose my head. That was so awesome. Uh, Mar- Ter Stegen did great. Seven. Sure. Uh, fine. Okay. I, I, he didn't do anything. I think he split the defenders at one point. He um, put a good ball th- through the middle into Danny Olmo. Create something. I don't know. He had a fine game. He made one save, I think, but it wasn't even a save. The, if I had to lead, barely did anything. Yeah. Uh, they had no chance. And a lot of that goes to the defense who... Uh, not only did they play well, but I think a lot of the team dropped back when they needed them to. And... That's something we've seen from this, or not seen from this side a lot, especially under Xavi, where uncounters were very vulnerable because the whole team doesn't drop. They Lamine dropped several times, and he broke up one attack too with a sliding tackle that stands out in my memory. But Casero dropped during the game. Balde did a pretty good job of getting back when needed. Danny Omo even did in the first half. Rafinha, of course, he always does. Really good job from all of them to support the back line. But the back line still played well. Uh, Kunde. He scored a goal? Oh my god, that was so long ago. There were so many goals, I forgot that Kunde scored. Yeah, uh, good uh, eight for Kunde. I think he he was a little bit better defensively than he was last game. I think the lead was a little bit worse, but we saw more of what we know from Kunde normally uh, defensively. And then going forward, some of someone mentioned it in chat again. I, I don't remember who it was, but he was playing better. Still not perfect, but linking up a little bit better, putting a little bit better uh, of a ball in when necessary, but more importantly, giving Lamine a little bit of a better option there. I think the team, if, if we had a really good attacking fullback on the right, it could be deadly with Lamine. And I think that's part of the reason Carvajal and Lamine played so well, because Carvajal, I think, is a little bit better going forward than Kunde is, but I think Kunde is slowly getting better. And so he had a good game. Eight, I think, is fair. Same eight for Kubarsi. I think Kubarsi was, again, incredible on the ball. Obviously, he had that assist, that fantastic ball to Rafinha who collected it nicely. I can't wait to talk about Rafinha. Uh, good game from Kubarsi. He's pretty much doing what we expect from him. Uh, yeah, good game. Good solid game defensively too. Nothing really to complain about. No yellow card. <laughs> Great game. And Diego Martinez I think was better today too. I, I think he was pretty solid defensively. Did what was necessary. And, and you know, yeah. they Obviously they didn't have to defend a ton. I'm going to give him a seven and a half just because I think Kubarsi was a little bit better. You know what, I'll give Kubarsi an 8.5, and, and I'll give Inigo an 8. I, I think the whole back line probably deserves an 8. That goes for Balde, too. I think Balde made some really good runs at some points. Didn't, again, didn't put great balls in, but he get, got some fouls, uh, got into dangerous positions a lot. And he's slowly improving, slowly getting there. Um, he's still not shining in a way I would love, but solid game. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't really have anything to complain about from any of these guys. And that goes to the midfield first with Pedri, who... I think was very solid in the first half. I right, let me see if he got an assist today. Um, he did not get an assist, but he had a solid game. I think I, I think he played okay. I I don't know. Sofa score as him as a seven point one. I'm gonna give him a seven and a half because I think he was just tidy on the ball. There were a few moments. I think he dribbled around in the box like away from pressure in a dangerous situation in a way you would reminiscent of Sergio Busquets. He, he had a solid game, and, and he's playing deeper in that midfield role, so I think he was solid. Mark Casado, I think he was solid, too. I'm going to give him a 7 just because I, I don't think he had a huge role in this team, at least going forward, but that wasn't his responsibility. He was taking more of that Mark Bernal position where he needs to be the more defensive midfielder, and he did fine. Like He was slop, slotting in between Gubarsi and Inigo a lot, and it worked out. I think he was good. I think a 7 is fair. Uh, Danny Olmo was like insane, though. Danny Olmo was so close to having one of the craziest games for Barcelona. He got outshined a little bit by Rafinha, but Danny Olmo hit the post at least twice and, yeah, nearly scored like three times. He was offside for one goal he scored, and then he ended up scoring scoring a goal too. Yeah, I'm going to give him a nine just because he was so close uh, every time. He was linking up with Lewandowski, with Rafinha, with Pedro. 
The link of play, I forgot about that. The link of play between Danny Olmo and Pedri was insane today. Their chemistry is insane. They both have, they like complement each other very well. So it's nice to see the two of them playing together and starting together. Uh, it's absolutely to be said that Danny Olmo needs to start most games for this side. He can't start every game. He's injury prone. So hopefully he doesn't start every game, but whew, he's, he looks good. And, and wow, just the way he linked up with everybody and connected everything was awesome and Lamine was a was very similar to him in, in in the fact that he was very much the facilitator for a lot of goals a lot of creating I think he did get did he only get one assist no he got two assists today what a game that was ridiculous uh he play, he, Lamine played wonderful I'm gonna give him a nine uh, mm, yeah I'll give him a nine I, I think he really could not have done much better except score but I don't think he got into a ton of scoring positions that one assist to who was it um to Rafinha at the end of the match for the fifth goal uh, was ridiculous. When he he kind of created everything, he ran forward and held the ball, waited for uh, Rafinha to make a good run, and then slotted the ball in through the middle. Rafinha put a great touch on the ball. Lamine, deserve, Lamine deserves a nine easily. I'm going to give the same grade to Lewandowski. I, I think Robert was good. Uh, we're seeing more brilliance from him. He's actually linking up well with Danny Olmo, with Rafinha, and Lamine Mall. In a way, he never did last season. There was never... The chemistry was lacking a lot with him. He wouldn't hold the ball up. He wouldn't get into dangerous positions. And he is now. He still messes up a lot. He's still 36 or whatever. And, you know, that's going to happen. But he also scored today a very good goal. Got into a lot of good positions. And he got an assist, apparently, too. <laughs> yeah, great game for Lewandowski. I think he deserves a 9. And Rafinha deserves at least a 10. If I could give him any more, I would... What a game from this guy. I am so happy for him that he pulled this out. I think he needed it. I think there have been a lot of doubters. I was one of them. Hello. I doubted him a lot. I wanted to sell him this summer, and I'm so thankful that we didn't do that. Um, this kid is ridiculous. Uh, he was so good in the final third, which is my only criticism of him from the last match. His first touch was much better, getting in himself into dangerous positions and finished incredibly well. Like top tier finishing, incredible. He's on three goals and three assists, I think. That's insane. That's ridiculous. What a game for Rafinha. He deserves it. And, and he was really, I don't know, this team linked up so well today all of them together as a unit played such great football it wasn't one of them over the other playing significantly better the reason Rafinha scored three goals was because other guys were helping him get into those positions and he was finishing it it wasn't mess it wasn't like Messi creating everything and doing it himself this team played wonderfully together and the bench the guys who came on from the bench did much of the same thing when Sergio Dominguez came on for Pauco Barsi in the 61st minute Dominguez was so calm on the ball. It was ridiculous. Uh, he looked really good. I'm going to give him a seven. Eric Garcia looked fine too. I think there were moments where he was solid defensively and he was good at spreading the ball forward. I'm going to give him a seven also. He almost he also almost scored. Sorry, I'm a little congested today. Fermin Lopez, I think was good. He was solid. I'm going to give him a six and a half. I think he was probably the worst of those initial subs. Uh, then uh, Ferran Torres came on for Lewandowski. And as someone who just made a video criticizing Ferran Torres, he had a great game. He was fantastic, was putting in dangerous balls, was he scored a great goal. It was a fantastic first time finish that I've been screaming for Lewandowski to score all season. He did it. Ferran Torres did it first time on his right foot. What a finish. Got my boy Rafinha another assist. It was good. He played well and then he put a, a couple other dangerous balls in. Bueno, bueno, good job. Uh, and then Pablo Torre came in who was okay. Uh, we didn't really see enough of him at that point to really judge, but what a game from these guys. I'm so, so incredibly excited to see more football from them. I'm upset that we have the international break coming now because we're going to miss out on a little bit of this chemistry. Maybe it might, we might lose some of it going away for two weeks. But man, this game was awesome. Uh, somebody brought up something important. I think it was Neon in chat on TIFO, which you guys can join us where I live stream all of my videos or all of the Barcelona matches. Um, and uh, links down below. Use code ROLU to sign up for free. Uh, Neon said that we had two 5-0 victories in a row last season around this time. And we know how last season went. So we have to keep in mind that sometimes the team can look great, but it might not stay that way. The, the problem here 
or the reason I don't necessarily agree with that is because this team has been building this chemistry the entire first four games, and we've seen glimpses of this attacking trio or quadruple, whatever, quintuple, whatever. The five, four or five of them going forward have looked close to this a lot. They found something now, and and I think they can do this a lot going forward. Now, I think Vitalid was very bad defensively. I think they left a lot of space for Lewandowski to operate. I think if they were busy, bigger, more physical with him, he could have had a more difficult time. But it's also hard to do that when you have so many guys making runs around you and you have to be aware of that as well, which Rafinha and then for me and Danny Olmo and Lamine were all doing. It was a lot of really good football. That Not only were they creating incredible chances, but they were also defending as a unit. Everybody dropping back to win the ball back, making it very difficult for Valladolid, who... In fairness enough, we're only sending like two or three guys on the attack because they were probably worried about defending. I don't have I don't have much more to say. I'm done yapping. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys haven't already, go join my T-Fall. I'm trying to be the second creator on the platform to reach a thousand viewers or a thousand members. So please go check it out if you want to. It's free and it's pretty cool. Most of the guys who join it love it. So uh, I'll see you guys in my next video. There'll be another video out next week and then I'm going to try and maybe live stream on Twitch or something for, uh, you know, in, in the break just to create some more content for you guys. But thank you for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Visca Varsa, Visca Catalunya. Peace.